In this video, we're going to install a 17 millimeter BGA component using the ZMR7220 BGA B workstation. This B workstation has top hot air, bottom hot air, and a area a, a electric area heater. And so we have the model nozzles are magnetic. And you can change out your pickup tubes for the size of the component that you're going to be using. So for this component, it's a small component, we're going to use a small pickup tube. And you just screw them into the shaft like this. The nozzles are magnetic. So for this 18mm uh, component, I'm going to use a 20mm nozzle on the top. And I have a 28 millimeter nozzle on the bottom. And I use a little bit larger nozzle on the bottom to, so it, it can spread out the heat a little bit and soak up the, uh, the heat in the board better. So uh, you have an adjust break, moving your nozzle up and down here. I'm just going to put it so it's about a, about a quarter inch to an eighth of an inch from the board. We'll bring out our camera. You can see our, our nozzle is in blue. Our circuit board is in a yellow or gold. We can use the joystick to zoom in and zoom out. This is all the way out. If I turn to the left, it goes all the way in. So this is full magnification. So with this machine, you can do up to, or down to like 0.1 millimeter pitch. It's a very high resolution camera. And so right now we're just gonna bring it out enough so we can line up our components to the board. You have lighting controls. I can turn. I can adjust my upper lighting, and I can adjust my lower lighting. Okay, so our, our nozzle, or our circuit board, is set in the nozzle. If you need to do any fine tuning, you have micrometer adjust. So I can use micrometer adjust for left and right, and I can use micrometer adjust for forward and backward. Right now, I'm comfortable with that. We're going to take some tacky flux. We're going to brush some tacky flux over our BJ side. And so when we install BJs, we just use the tacky flux. We don't use solder paste as long as you're using your, your Tectic balls. I'm going to find my pin one location. Close this for a minute. I just roughly place this in, 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 in the center of the substrate. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight. We're going to line it up. Open this up. You can see our component here. Let's turn up the light a little bit. Our component's right there. We'll set the point into the camera again. There we go. Now we're going to select our sequence on the touch screen. I'm going to select the mount sequence. It's around mount. If you want to see more about the touch screen operation, please watch our video on touch screen operation. Uh, so right now I've got my mount. Everything's ready to go. I just press start. It's going to go down and pick up the component. Once that stops moving, we can bring our camera out. We can use a micrometer adjust to adjust the component. So I'm going to bring it up. We brighten the solder balls a little bit. We can see our solder balls across the top here are in blue. The solder balls are in blue. The BGA pads are in gold. You have a micrometer left to right, micrometer forward and backward. You get a micrometer here to rotate the component. So we're going to do is we're going to rotate the component and I'm going to make sure that it's lined up with the pads from the top to the bottom. Now rotate a little bit, bring it back over here, rotate a little more, bring it back where I need it. And so we just do the rotation on the left and right until we have a nice straight line. Once it's in a straight line, I can move the pads onto the solder balls. We can confirm that we're square on all four corners. So I'm going to zoom in. I'm just going to fine tune the placement. So we can break our solder balls a little bit here. There we go. 
We have side of balls in blue, uh, pads in gold. We'll zoom in a little more if we want, just so you can see. There we go. Just bring the pads on the side of balls on the, on the center of the pads. That's good. We'll zoom back out just to make sure we're still square, that we didn't go off any at all. Looks good. So we're, we have our photos lined up. We'll put the camera in. We'll take our HDMI selector switch. We're going to switch to the side view camera. We're going to turn on the side view camera light. Let's focus our camera here on the pads. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. There we go. We're going to press alignment OK. Mm -hmm. It's going to place the chip. We can watch here and we can make sure that it places on the pads on center. There we go. Adjust our lighting. All right, it's going to run the heat profile now. It'll take about five to six minutes, and then we can watch when the side of balls reflow on the side view camera. Okay, so the side balls are going to reflow, be reflowing soon, so we'll just zoom in here so we can get a good look at them. Okay, it's starting to be flow now. There we go. Do that, so now we have a complete reflow. So after complete reflow, we give it about 30 seconds. Um, this set profile is a little bit longer, so we can stop it ourselves and we'll note what temperature it reflowed at and we go back and readjust our profile for that temperature. And basically, I'll hold it for about 30 seconds in nucleus. So this is a good installation. We'll just press stop, and it'll go into cool down mode now. Our components on. Wait for it to go into cool down mode. When it's cooled down, we'll take it out and we'll inspect it. Well, that concludes how to install a BGA component using the ZMR7220A BGA Rework Station.